The Jets went into the 2023 season with a wide receiver group that was filled out by two undrafted free agents and an aging Randall Cobb. While the group was led by the star power of Garrett Wilson, Joe Douglas brought in Alan Lazard to be wide receiver too, which has turned out to be one of the worst free agency deals in recent Jets history. Looking forward to 2024, the Jets could have a solid wide receiver one and wide receiver two pair in Garrett Wilson and Mike Williams. However, the depth behind these two is concerning to say the least. We know Xavier Gibson is a talented return man, but I don't see a world where he could be getting meaningful reps at wide receiver three in this Jets' new offense, especially with Lazard still being on the roster. I think the Jets need to find their wide receiver three or four in a late round draft choice. While there's still a chance the Jets could take a top wide receiver or Brock Bowers at pick 10, I think they will look to get another receiver in the later rounds. The draft class of 2024 is loaded with talented offensive linemen, quarterbacks, and wide receivers. Because of how much attention the big names are getting in this class, there's a good chance some talented receivers fall back into the late rounds and beyond. Here are the receivers that the Jets fans should have their eyes on as a late round selection to fill out the top-heavy Jets depth chart. The first name that comes to my mind is Brendan Rice out of USC. Rice is a big-bodied wide receiver with a 6'3 frame and a big vertical. Like Mike Williams, Rice couldn't be a receiver who makes his money from 50-50 ball wins, but without the same type of vertical threat as Williams. Rice is a difficult player to bring down in the open field, and I think he would be a great fit for this Jets offense, especially in the red zone. With a duo of Mike Williams and Rice, they will garner a lot of attention and ultimately open up opportunities for Brees and Garrett Wilson. Rice currently has a third round draft grade on him, but he could ultimately rise into the second round, which would put him out of the running for the Jets. The second player on our list is another player who could potentially rise to the second round, and that's Jalen Polk out of Washington. Polk is an excellent wide receiver too in an offense built around Michael Penix and Romo Dooms. Polk's best traits are his body control and versatility around the field. While he isn't the fastest guy around and doesn't have a huge route tree, he may be a good fit for the Jets simply because of his versatility at each position. Next is a player who could undoubtedly become a future fan favorite based on his sheer size alone. Six foot seven, Johnny Wilson is a massive wide receiver out of Florida State. Another guy who was comfortable in a secondary option role in an offense that was led by another potential top 10 pick, Keon Coleman. I described Brendan Rice as another Mike Williams for the Jets offense, but Johnny Wilson truly fits that build and provides a deep ball threat. Wilson is an athletic freak who will be able to overpower a lot of DBs based on his size alone but he lacks the ability to separate at times. Based on his skills as a blocker, his massive frame, and his big play ability, Wilson is one of my favorite prospects for the Jets in the 2024 draft. Thinking about defenses trying to cover the size and big play ability of Johnny Wilson and Mike Williams could leave teams trying to cover Garrett Wilson with their nickel. That trio would be a major problem for most defenses in the NFL. A potential sleeper pick for the Jets is Bub Means out of the University of Pittsburgh. Means has been slowly rising on draft boards over the last few months. Pitt was an unimpressive offensive team this season, but Means was a standout on that team. Means does a great job running the ball and is another yak monster, just like Brendan Rice. But he has a limited route tree, and his transition from a pretty limited pit offense to an NFL offense may prove difficult at first. This means that he may be too raw of a prospect to fit in the role that the Jets would need him to be in the upcoming season. My final prospect kind of breaks away from these X-type receivers that we have been talking about, and that's Christian McCaffrey's little brother, Luke McCaffrey, out of Rice University. McCaffrey is a slot receiver who excels in deep routes and has great body control. He is good at catching difficult contested passes and then transitioning to a super strong runner. The Jets' current roster lacks a slot receiver, which could change as Xavier Gibson develops this season, but McCaffrey could prove to be the successful slot receiver that the Jets need.
The Mike Williams signing is a massive pickup for the Jets, but Joe Douglas still has a lot of work to do in order to round out that wide receiver room. There's a boatload of wide receiver talent in this year's draft, and the Jets have a good chance to pick up a player in the third or fourth round who can make an instant impact this season. Because of Mike Williams' injury history, I think it would make a lot of sense for the Jets to select another big-bodied receiver this year.